after that last MRI, um, we made the decision to uh, to pull him off of life support, and we got to hold him for the first time without all of his wires. We got to bathe him and wash him and put him in pajamas, and um, and they just said, "Now you just wait. You wait until he's ready to pass." And I'm um, I'm. Ojibwe and my, and my mother was there and we had asked if we could um, mm. smudge. smudge him, uh, which would have to happen outside. So that's, to, that's um, with the, our medicines to, to put the smoke, wash him in the smoke. And um, they brought the fire marshal in. This and this English, is in England, so of all places for it to happen in England. Sweet, kind English people were clueless to what we were talking about. Um, and they brought the Getting fire the marshal fire in marshal and they escorted and us to the roof. I carried Benjamin all the way up through the hospital to the roof and tomorrow's mum and tomorrow there and they're saying prayers and, and the fire marshal and these nurses and doctors just looking on and sort of... Um, they were really there for us, actually. They really made that happen for us. They're two markedly, um, you know, opposing experiences. Yeah. You know, one was my care um, in a maternity unit that I was dismissed and sent home, and and where the fault lies, and where the um, the decisions have been uh, acknowledged as leading to uh, Benjamin's death. But that was followed immediately by this other hospital experience that was. Um, that put us first. In those moments, it was extraordinary how, how the way that they treated us with compassion and empathy, and it, it, it just made the experience, um, it made it possible for us to have our personal experience. And it was, we were so grateful to them for that.